do. And I'll tell you why, because I'm speaking from the perspective of a father who's ah. got a four-year-old boy okay. that's got Downs. Now, this is the thing. It cannot be looked into in isolation, and I'll tell you why. Um, I knew myself and my wife that from three months on, we were going to have a Downs baby. And I probably was one of the few fathers who would fall into the category and go, oh, no, I couldn't deal with it. Now, And when you said you couldn't deal with it, and I think many dads might feel, what was it that you were worried about? What did you feel you wouldn't be able to do that you needed to do for this? Coincidentally, I bumped into a few parents before my son was born, and I saw them with their own Downs. I I bumped into a gentleman who had a Downs daughter at the airport, and the daughter was clinging, hugging under the constantly and i sort of thought god what if that happened to me if i had a downs baby how would i deal with it yeah i sort of sort of process in my head and see how normal this child appeared to be and um little did i know i was going to fall into that category now my point is the spectrum of downs baby is so wide right and it's very difficult for people to make that decision on one basis so you had sort of you had some good Many, not, not so many good stories, right. especially when it comes to the heart surgery and all the bits that comes with it. Sure. But at the same time, I've got a four-year-old boy getting ready to go to primary school, and we're putting the application through. And guess what, Nick? Go on. He's going to a normal school. There you go. Normal school. Yeah. So four-year-old, slightly little behind, right. running around the house. I hate to use this word, words. but a, a, a regular, I hate the word, but you know what I'm saying, just a regular kid. Yes, just a regular kid. Yeah, but